Hello, welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today, I'm super excited to share this bright and colorful slimline birthday card featuring the Pickles Party Animal stamp set from sassyandcrafty.com. This video is part of a Sassy and Crafty giveaway hop, which is open internationally for one week from November 3rd to November 11th, 2020. Details on how to enter the giveaway and how to find the next creator on the hop are listed in the description box below, along with a list of all the supplies I'm using to make this card. So let's jump right in. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use first, so I decided to use all three zebras on a slimline card. I'm starting with the zebra with the cupcake first. I um, started coloring the stripes using a brand new set of 12 neutral gray Copic markers. These are the classic original markers with a fine tip nib, which makes it easier to color in smaller spaces. Since I'm not covering a large area, I don't need three different colors like I would normally use. Rather than just coloring in the stripes with black, I went with a dark gray along the edges. For this zebra, I started with N10, then went in with N6. For the nose area, I went with N4 for my lightest shade. I did the same for the hooves, but I used N1 right in the middle as my highlight color. After finishing up the stripes, I started on the hair. I used two different shades of purple, starting with V17, and then I used V15 right next to it. I didn't end up using my lightest shade, um, but some of the areas are so small, it's kind of hard to incorporate all three colors. I went back in with N0 to add some shadows under the hairline and anywhere that was white that I thought it needed a little bit more shadowing. Then I colored the flowers with light pink RV21 first, and then I outlined it with RV25 and blended it in with RV23. I went back in with those same purple colors just to add a little bit more contrast in the hair. And then I used Y13, a yellow, for the centers of the flowers. For the cherries on top of the cupcake, I started with crimson, RV29, and then started getting lighter. Next, I used RV25, and then RV23 as the highlight. And then for the leaf, I used YG07. So for the cupcake liner, I wanted it to look like foil. So I colored it with a Pentel metallic silver gel pen. So for the cake part of the cupcake, I used Y21, and then I used Y11 along the edges. I wanted each of my zebras to have some type of sparkle, so I decided to color the icing with a Nouveau glitter pen in pressed, pre peon pressed, peon <laughs> pressed peony color. <laughs> I used some Nuvo drops in Morning Dew, which actually dries clear, for the heart lollipop that's on top of the cupcake so that you could see the zebra's eye. And I also added the Nuvo drops to the cherry. And for the middle of the flowers on top of the zebra's head, I used Nuvo glow in the dark drops in banana split color. So I've used my Tim Holtz mini snips to fussy cut out my zebra. Normally I cut all my images using my brother's scanning cut, but I was afraid it would mess it up, so I just decided to cut it out by hand. Now moving on to coloring the next zebra, the one holding the presents, I decided to go with a lighter shade of gray, N7, to, to outline the straps to start with, and then I used N4. For the flowers, this time I decided to work lightest to darkest. I used BG000 and then BG01 and then BG05 rather than outlining it with a darker color first. I wanted to see which way blended better and I think I like starting with outlining the flower with a darker color first best. I wanted several different color flowers so I colored the other two with RV04 and because they're so small I just decided to use the one color. For this zebra's hair I started with the lightest yellow Y11 and then I added Y13 and Y18. I know I've sped this up quite a bit, but I was trying to keep this video as short as possible so that you'd have time to visit the other videos on the hop. Now for the presents, I colored with green and then pink, and I used the same shade of dark pink for all of the ribbon just to kind of tie all of them together. 
There were a couple of places where I accidentally got blue outside the lines. So that's what's great about the colorless blender. All you need to do is start right outside where your mistake is and push the ink back into where it needs to be. Once I got the blue back where it needed to be, I added yellow and then finished off the ribbon colors. So after fussy cutting it out, I ran my black Copic marker around the edges and I did this to the other zebras as well off camera. And again, I've added some yellow Nouveau drops to the center of the flowers and I added some grapefruit stickles to the pink ribbon as the sparkle part of this particular zebra because remember I said I wanted them all to be sparkly. So after coloring several zebras, I decided that I liked using the lighter gray outline better than the darker. So I started with N7 and then in the places where I could actually blend several colors together, I used N4 as my mid-tone and then N2 for the highlight. Now I used the same technique that I used to color the hooves as I did on the other zebras starting on the outside and then working toward the middle, getting lighter. And then um, for the nose here, I'm just starting with a darker color and then kind of working my way toward the top and so that I'll have the highlight where it kind of looks like the top of the zebra's nose has a little bit of a shine. Now for this zebra's hair, I knew I wanted to go with a rainbow of colors. So I used the same colors that I used in the other zebras. I didn't want to throw in all of my Copic colors, but I started with the pinks and then added purple and added some blue and green and even some yellow and orange toward the bottom. I colored the hat with Y18 and Y13, but then I decided to make it sparkle. So I covered it up with some Stickles glitter glue, and then I added the Morning Dew Nouveau Drops to cover the lenses of the glasses. And again, remember this dries clear, so I thought it added a really cool touch to this zebra. So now I'm taking some hot pink foil. I've never used this color before, so I struggled a little bit getting that little circle adhesive piece off of there but I'm cutting it down to fit on top of all the sentiment stamps that I've printed out and I'm running it through my mink machine. Now at this point, I wasn't sure which sentiment I was gonna use, so I just went ahead and fold them all. Now I've sped this video up quite a bit. Um, it does run through the machine quite slow, but they turn out so pretty. So I decided to use the It's Your Birthday sentiment, so I cut it down so that it would fit inside of the pink present. I'm using the largest die of the Scallop Slimline die set from Cat Scrappiness, and I've cut this out on black sparkle paper by Coordinations. I also used the stitched insert die from a different set so that the zebras will have a frame. For the card base, I've taken a piece of Simon Hurley stark white cardstock, which is 110 pounds, and I've cut it down to seven inches on the long side, and then I'm scoring it on the seven inch side at three and a half inches. I placed it in the corner of my scoreboard to help line up the edges, and then I'm going over the crease with my, with my bone folder several times. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to glue down the black piece. And next I'm using 3D foam squares to pop up all three of the zebras. Now off camera, I took the sentiment Treat Yourself and I've cut that out also using that stitched insert slimline die so that it would fit on top of the black in between the windows. And this finishes up my card for today. I really hope you like it. It's very colorful and sparkly and it would be perfect for a young child or even a teenager for their birthday. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching my video today. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest as well as my website at cardsbykindred.com for more card inspiration. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button down below if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.